how to get divorce in India. Now there are two ways in which one can get divorce. First is divorce by mutual consent. In this kind of divorce, both parties want to divorce each other and this process is fast, economic and is highly recommended that both parties approach for this kind of divorce. The other one is called as contested divorce. In this kind of divorce, only one party wants to proceed for divorce, not the other one. Now getting divorce in the case of contested divorce is a little time taking. But in the case of contested divorce, you could also end up getting maintenance, compensation, etc. However, in this video, I'll be talking about divorce by mutual consent, where both parties want to divorce each other. As someone who has been practicing matrimonial law, I would always suggest that parties should always go for divorce under mutual consent. Now in this video, let's first see what kind of laws would be applicable upon you. Now, for different religion, there are different laws. Now let's take an example of Hindu marriage in this video. In the case of Hindu marriage, Hindu marriage act will be applicable specifically 13b1 and 13b2. This section talks about divorce under mutual consent. Now the question comes, which court you should proceed for getting mutual divorce. It is family court. Moreover, there are three more options in this situation. You may select court based on these three conditions, whatever is feasible. First, where marriage was solemnized. Second, where wife is currently residing. Third, where couple resided for the last time. This comes as well because Now, what are the conditions that will be applicable in the case of mutual divorce? First, wife and husband both must be living separately for at least one year. Second, both spouses must have free consent to proceed for mutual consent divorce. There should be no coercion, fraud, criminal intimidation, etc. The decision of taking the divorce must be, has to be consensual. And the third condition is that there is no possibility of any reconciliation between both the parties. They tried everything and there is nothing they can do to live together anymore. Only upon these three conditions, both parties will be getting divorced under mutual consent. Now, let me explain the whole process. First, both husband and wife will have to give mandatorily two appearance before the family court. Second, draft a joint divorce petition and file it at your family court. And in this case, there will be no petitioner versus respondent. Both husband and wife would be petitioner and the drafting and filing work will be done by your lawyer. And now moving forward in the same petition, both husband and wife will state how they have agreed to divide certain assets. Who will be having the custody of child, whether wife will be taking any maintenance, if yes, what has party agreed to give? All of it will be mentioned in that petition. Now, the main process start from here. In the family court, there will be two motions. In the first motion, the statement of both husband and wife is recorded and then both of them sign on the paper and submit it in the court. Now after this, six month time is given by the court. This period is called as cooling off period. Court gives this time to see if a spouse would patch up, make effort for reconciliation, come back and even after six months, if relationship doesn't patch up and there is no way they could ever cohabit again and you still would want to go for divorce, then court will grant it. However, you should keep this in mind that if you are not appearing for the second motion, after 18 months, court will assume that both party came back together and court will cancel the divorce. Now, I have been interacting with so many clients who says that they do not even want to go for six months schooling period. They just want to end up the match, which does make sense in certain situations. And for those, there is a good news. Serving six months of schooling period is not mandatory. It's optional. If you feel like that you would not want to pursue those six months for reconciliation, you are very sure that things won't work out and you want to wave off those six months, then an application for waiver has to be submitted to the court. Now, subject to the court discretion, there is a high chance that court will also waive off those six months if situation is great and there is no way that parties would ever reconcile or come together or pass things on. Now, once that is done, your divorce is done.